Hi, my name is Julin, and right now I'm doing uh, AI data science. Cool. And yep, I'm the keynote speaker for PyCon Malaysia 2018. Cool. What do you actually do uh, in detail, other than AI and data science? For the past 10 years, I've been a C developer, okay. been doing uh, payments uh, in the payments industry, basically card payments. Um, yep, so firmware application development. So recently, I finished my master's degree and I moved on to a new role, which mm -hmm. is um, AI data science. Cool. So, yeah. Okay, so you work with different firmware. Uh, what kind of device you work on? Um, so you know those devices you swipe your credit cards in? Ah, okay. okay I come in those. program those, yes. Right. Program those in those. But in those, uh, so you use, so when you work on credit cards, you mean mostly on the terminal side? Correct. Okay, so you... Terminal firmware. How does the data science side come in? So, um, no, there is very few um, in terms of uh, machine learning or anything okay, like that. Yeah. There, is th there is some parts of data science involved where we do collect a lot of all this micro data that it goes on to every single transaction. Yeah. We don't keep personal data, of course. We are not allowed to keep personal data or even obviously not the credit card information. Yeah. But other information comes through like uh, the date and time, um, the value of the transaction, mm -hmm. stuff like that, the location of the transaction especially. Okay. Yeah. Cool. And basically, the frequency of the transactions also plays right. a part. So, from my understanding, you are actually transitioning to a different type of project. Then. Totally different roles, totally different field, mm -hmm. everything all together. So, and this is starting from a new job. Yes. So, how you uh, what do you foresee coming from the transition? Um, I basically, I think for. Um, especially in terms of uh, engineering, so to speak. I mean, all experience is not wasted. You uh -huh. gain a lot more experience and all this, it stacks up to amount to a lot. And in terms of even in AI, it's a new field. Mm -hmm. So nobody is uh, uh, an old school AI. Well, not nobody, but very few of us are actually an old school AI person. So I'm coming into a new field, coming in with a practical background, uh, experience mm -hmm. and basically I can definitely help to see uh, where we can best use uh, AI machine learning. So essentially uh, bringing engineering discipline to the art area. Definitely, yep. So uh, the company that I'm joining, um, they, are try they are growing very quickly. They are AI company are growing very quickly. It's all full team of uh, AI engineers but they want to implement Scrum. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Okay. So that will be my role actually, I'm coming in as a Scrum Master okay. um, background and I'm going to help them develop okay. their Scrum practices. Uh, so one curiosity here, why uh, transition from hardware-based project? Uh, do you see more potential on AI and machine learning thing? So machine learning is a very, very broad broad yeah. view. Yeah. It can apply to everything. I mean, even for um, the lower level, you uh -huh. have that uh, machine learning on the lower level, uh -huh. and then you have your higher level machine learning when you get all the data crunched out mm -hmm. of, uh, you know, data that you've collected externally. Those are more higher level. That, that's, it, that's it. The It's all machine learning, and I'm quite interested in all these fields. Okay. Interesting. What do you think about the conference uh, here? Yeah, I think it's really, really cool that, you know, um, PyCon Malaysia is continuing to do all this. And um, as you go to a lot of conferences, sometimes it can get a, a bit boring. Yeah. But it's, it's always good to just uh, plow through and because sometimes you, you get to learn something new that's totally unexpected, even though you have to sit through 20 minutes for that one little gem. It's sometimes worth it. Mm -hmm. So, back to community thing. I noticed that you wear your woman of coat t-shirt and you play a woman who code and also data kind. Yep. So can you talk more about this organization and your involvement? Yep. So these organizations are global non-profit organizations, which yep. is quite different from your small little um, setups in terms of people who are just setting up a small little uh, organization. So these global organizations, they have uh, they have very well set up um, standards and uh, guidelines and this helps a lot for the local uh, non-profit organization because you have um, you have the standards to fall back on, things to follow if you're unsure of, people to ask, you have a global network to ask uh, your questions and everything and experiences from other networks and other chapters. So it's quite interesting. For our organizations, it depends on the different organizations, but for ours, one, one big difference we see uh, for ours as opposed to others that just um, set up themselves mm -hmm. is that we have less mistakes because of that. 
too late. Glad to know that. So, how do we contact you through different organizations? How can we meet you from different organizations? Okay, in short, how, do we, how can we contact you? If you are yep. interested in learning more. Definitely, you can just uh, drop us an email, uh, singapore at womenwhocode.com, and I'll receive it and I'll answer it. Great. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Thank you.